Many out there know the Chernobyl disaster occurred on the 26th of April 1986. This event was one of the worst nuclear disasters in history. A nuclear reactor exploded and released radioactive materials into the atmosphere. Once investigations were underway, it was announced that reactor number 4 had exploded. However, many details were suppressed about what had happened, and many were told to go in and clean it up, not knowing the seriousness of the situation. Immediately after the event, people were evacuated from the area. It's thought the number is somewhere around 340,000 to 360,000 people. Even today, there are restrictions on where you can visit, with most of the areas around Chernobyl being out of bounds. With that being said, tours can be arranged if you want to see some of the nearby areas. Many have done this and made some interesting discoveries. One of the most common finds is that of children dolls, and children's toys that are now completely covered in the radioactive dust and soot of that day. This has left the town with the appearance of being completely frozen in time, completely the same as on the day of the evacuation, and a perfect recreation of the 1980s during the rule of the Soviet Union, with Soviet propaganda and toys of that era littered throughout the area. Another find is that of the giant claw, it was one of the machines that was used to help clean up the area shortly after the event. However, due to its high level of radiation, it's been left to rot. Over the years, many people have stumbled across it while exploring what's left of the nearby area. The claw in particular though is still very radioactive, and researchers have said that it can't be touched. Private guides have even said it's not a good idea to get close to it as it could cause harm to the human body. The average background radiation is around 0.16, and the claw measures at over 39. It's discoveries like this that have led scientists to say that it will be thousands of years before humans will be able to live here comfortably again. It's not actually known how many people died as a direct result of the disaster, but researchers have said the death toll is over six figures. A physicist at the University of Portsmouth said that by 2065, the Chernobyl would have caused around 16,000 cases of thyroid cancer and 25,000 cases of other cancers. However, other researchers have said the amount is higher than this, but most agree there is a large amount of uncertainty around these numbers. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.